Modding 4 Final Fantasy Rebirth is now here. It's only been a few days since the PC release, and behind the scenes modders have been cooking. And given that it's only been a few days, there are limited mods at the moment, but soon enough we'll have a wide collection of mods similar to Final Fantasy 7 Remake. With that being said, today we'll be going over how to install these mods so that you can get started on your own customized playthrough. We'll be going over how to set up your actual mods folder, as well as how to get reshade up and running so you can make the game look the best it's ever been. So let's get started. We'll first need to find the game root directory of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. So I'll show you how to do it with Epic Games as well as Steam. In Epic Games, if you go over to Library, find Final Fantasy VII, and then click on these three little dots. From here, you go down to Manage, and then next to Installation, you hit this folder icon. For Steam, right click on Final Fantasy VII, go down to Manage, and then Browse Local Files. The File Explorer window that pops up is going to be your game directory. From here, we're going to go into End, Content, and then finally packs. Here we're going to need to create a mods folder. So you can click on an empty space, go down to new, and then select folder. Now it needs to say exactly this, tilde key with mods, and the folder itself isn't absolutely necessary. What the mods will be installing are called pack files. And as you can see below, if you install mods directly into this directory, it's just not going to be that organized. So having all your mods in a consolidated folder is going to be the easiest to help manage your mods, just so you don't accidentally delete a core game file. Now you just need to browse Nexus Mods to find a mod that you want to download. And once you do find a mod, you can go ahead and click on this files tab and then go ahead and click on this manual download. If you're not a Nexus Mods premium member, you'll instead need to click a slow download button. But but these file sizes are pretty small, so it shouldn't take you any time at all. Also, if you're not seeing any download options, just make sure you sign up for a free account. Once you have your mod downloaded, it should be in a zipped file format. So from here, we just need to right click, go down to our unzipping tool and extract those files. It should give you a new folder with some of the modded files. If you have no idea what we actually just did or your file is looking a little bit weird, you need to download a program called WinRAR which is free to use. I'll leave a guide down below in the description if you need some additional help, or you can download a program called 7-Zip, which is also another free program. Then for your downloaded mods, all you need to do is right click, go over to open with, and select your unzipping tool, whether that be WinRAR or 7-Zip. If you don't see that option, you can always go to choose another app, and in the new pop-up that appears, you should be able to find your unzipper. So make sure you highlight it, and then go to always. So now mods you download should always appear as this. Now we're gonna go inside of that folder we just extracted and inside you'll find three different files. We're going to take all three of these files and we're going to drag this directly inside of that mod folder we just made. So if we click inside of this mods folder, the mods we just added should be in there. So you've successfully installed your first mod. Now we'll go ahead and show you how to install Reshade. Reshade basically allows you to customize your game with various LUTs to either make your game more vivid, have greater shadow detail, and a bunch more custom tweaks. So you'll first need to go to a website called Reshade. We'll click on this purple download button, and then on the next page, you're going to have two different options. Now, usually you're just going to download this first one, but depending on the reshade you're trying to get, you may need the reshade with full add-on support. So make sure you read the reshade of your choice, because if you need the full add-on support, it will tell you in the install instructions. For this one, we just need the basic reshade. So once you click on it, you'll be able to save it to your downloads folder. And once it's downloaded, you'll need to double click to run the executable file. And in the new pop-up, we'll need to find Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Now you'll see that we have two separate files, but the one we want to select is the one with the file path that says Final Fantasy end binaries and then win 64. If we select this other one and then look at the file path, you'll see that this one just ends at .exe. So this will be the incorrect one. Make sure you have the right one selected and then press next. The mode we'll be using is DirectX 10, 11, and 12. So then you can press next again. And then on this next screen, it'll say select effects to install. So you'll see a whole bunch of effects you can enable or disable. But the easiest thing to do is uncheck all and then press it again to check all. This will just enable all of the effects so you don't have to worry about enabling it yourself, the reshade you install will automatically do it for you. So from here, just press next and it will start to install these shaders. Once you see this green check mark, you can go ahead and click this finish button and now reshade has been successfully installed. We just need to download a preset now. So again, if we go to the files tab, we can go ahead and download one of these presets. So I'll be downloading the vivid colors option. And again, we'll need to extract these files first. And if we click inside of our new folder, we'll have four files we need to install. So back in our game directory of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, we're again gonna go into end, into binaries, Win64. And this is where we'll be installing the reshade preset. 
So we'll take all of these files and just drag it inside of our game directory. It may prompt you to replace a few files. I've previously installed Reshade before, so don't pay attention to this number because it may be different for you. Just go ahead and replace the files and destination. And once complete, you have your Reshade preset installed. Now we'll go ahead and boot up the game. Once in game, you should see the mods you downloaded. So we got the red hair for Yuffie, the white hair for Tifa with the Nvidia shirt, and then Aerith with the black hair. If you want to check on your reshade, you need to press the home key. And in this menu that pops up, you just want to make sure you have your preset selected. So if you click on this blue bar, you'll see some files pop up. You just need to make sure you select that any file that you just installed. For this particular reshade, once you drag those files into your game directory, it will automatically be turned on for you. But that's not the case for all reshades. So from here, you just press select. And then at the bottom, you should see a continue and finish. So once you press that, you are done. Now, if you want to toggle the effects of reshade, you can go into settings and next to this effect toggle key, you're able to change the default key. Most of the time, this will be left blank, so you'll have to fill it in yourself. So if you click onto it and then press a button, you'll now have your own personal key. So if you press home again to get out of the reshade menu and then press your toggle key, you'll see that we're turning the reshade on and off. And as you can tell, the reshade makes a big difference. Hopefully you enjoyed this easy guide for installing mods for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. As new mods come out for this game, we will be doing some mod showcases, so if you don't want to miss out on that and stay updated on the latest mods, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until then though, we'll see ya.